You read that it fell <laughs> Ignore my litter packaging I come packing crafting Hello and thank you so much for joining me here on So Sid Checks. I'm Academia and today I'm going to be reviewing my May Coordinate Volume 1. It is really cute. It's a fashion like theme manga. Very slice of life. Not a lot physically happens but it is a thick boy. Like look at this. It's thicker than my finger. It's like as thick as my thumb which doesn't seem like a lot but that's a lot so we get to see it starts off with like these super beautiful watercolor pages right oh don't you just love that like part of me wants the whole thing to be like that but i do like that it's just the regular black and white okay so mommy coordinate is by miyabe or miyube i'm not sure how to pronounce it but the road to top model looks awfully steep from here. She loves meat and fried foods and eats only karage bento, wearing exclusively clothes with weird characters printed on them. Her fashion sense is practically non-existent. No confidence in her own looks, extreme social anxiety. She speaks with a country draw, and even her name is unusual. But when Mame, born in Totori Prefecture was discovered by an intimidating, respectful rookie manager and now begins the arduous task of getting her ready for auditions. Okay, so we have Mame, who is adorable. I love her style. She's described, her style is described as like a third grader. But she had a previous manager who seemed to not be very involved with her. Like, I understand you have multiple like models you have to manage but you could explain to her like you have to pay for your classes your makeup classes you have to pay for your photos like your headshots everything you have to have nice clothes like you have to appear a certain way in all of these auditions or you're not going to get them and no one really explained that to her so she didn't know the only reason she became a model was because she was at the train station wearing her mom's dress and got scouted immediately because she just has the it factor she doesn't know how to use it but she has it uh, she gets transferred to the very tomboyish and stylish kisaragi and she's like very very like goal oriented she wanted to be a model but she didn't have that factor and she realized really early on which you find out in later books like she doesn't have the the right eh, to be like your typical model. I think she's pretty. I think she could be a model. But she doesn't fit that like mold. That they want you to be in for their clothes. And she doesn't fit the style of everything. I think she's fine. But that's just me. So uh, Mami Himekawa. Which I love her name by the way. Because of the Hime part. Because princess. But you know that's just me. Mami's super cute. But she gets like really down on herself. Like she's just very... She has very low confidence because, like, she goes into these auditions not knowing what to expect and not knowing what to do. And all these other models are like, I do aerobics and I eat only herbal and organic and, like, all these fancy things. And she's like, I don't even know what these words are. And she sounds like a country bumpkin. Um, very much, like, from the south and like she wanted to get out of there because she didn't see anything that could work with her but she doesn't know anything about being a model when she first meets her manager they have like this great little dinner where she gets all up in her personal space to see what her potential is and it's funny because she lets her order whatever she wants and she orders all kinds of fried food but she never breaks out they have to start from the bottom think the princess diaries like makeover think that because they have to start at the bottom they have to do her makeup they have to get her prepared they have to pick out curate an outfit for her that makes her look perfect but she ends up putting her in white because although typically you don't see models in white she has a very innocent face and with her childlike nature and her very childlike style it works really well it does make her look different but she has the it factor when she's feeling herself like when she gets hyped up she is beyond beautiful but she's just full of so much anxiety she doesn't even know how to be normal like she doesn't know how to be like natural in front of the camera they actually take her to do her first headshots and she's actually starstruck she doesn't know what to do and it's just her and uh her manager and her manager's sister there and they were able to distract her with food to help loosen her up and it's fried chicken which is the same thing that 
the Kisaragi fried chicken. It's owned by her manager. And she ends up actually working there. And that's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm going to keep moving the bangs out of the way because I haven't curled them because I'm a little nervous because it's synthetic, but like whatever. Okay. So she ends up working there part time and she thinks it's super cute. She loves it. They actually use one of these cute pictures of her as like a promotional piece and it actually sells more chicken because they're like, you're so pretty. And they kind of harass her a little bit, but they're like, I'm sorry, miss. And they buy more chicken, which is great for business. And it's kind of like her first job almost. Um, although she did get chastised by her, the daughter of her the mother owns the business of course um did get chastised by her daughter because she can't just use her image she's part of the company which you can get big time sued for that but i think they're safe here and this whole volume is just getting her ready they're just trying to get teach her how to walk talk um well talking is a little bit more difficult walk dress makeup pictures everything like a model so that she'll be more successful when they send her to their next shoot because um the manager is told, like, if she does not pass her next audition, she's fired. And if you don't do it, you're out, too. And they're like, that's just bullying. And, of course, she doesn't really pass because they set it, they basically set it up terribly. Okay, they did this on purpose because they are bullying her. But they set her up to go against this girl named Noelle, who is the top model. She's super young, like, really, really young and super super beautiful and it's for a company called snow doll and of course she doesn't do very well at it because she's up against the best but i mean that's in the next one uh the more like this is setting her up to go to it but we know she's not going to succeed because she's being set up with the top model the one with the most experience the one that's the most coveted and the one that they basically already chosen they point blank said like it's just a formality that you audition but we know we want you so i mean it was clear that they're being bullied but they still work their hardest and it shows because she did make an impression on everyone that they passed while they were practicing because see here she's practicing when they started she looked like Bambi, right? And by the end, she was able to get her stance because she practiced a traditional dance that they did. It says over here, her center of gravity is from the lower half of her body because during this uh, Yasugi Bushi dance, uh, which is the tradition from the Tatori's next door neighbor, Shimane, uh, it's a dance that is well it's a traditional dance she would do it at festivals it's about harvesting and catching fish and you're picking the fish up so it's like this really awkward like dance it just feels very country so it really accentuates how like how out of her element she is because she's in the big city which is where she intended to go but she doesn't really know what she's doing and she lives in like a little shithole in the wall well they dress her up super cute to help her with her confidence because if she can't be in front of a camera then it's not going to work so they put bring her out to a playground and all the kids hype her up they're like you're so cute and they just they make her come out of her shell and it really lets her natural charisma and natural like beauty shine through because when she's confident she looks good when she's anxious she doesn't and they tell her you just have to remember what makes you happy and remember that, like, what makes you confident? Because when you're confident, you look so much better. And you're not, basically, you're not letting the clothes wear you. You're wearing the clothes. And being a model, you need to be able to ooze this beauty and charisma just naturally. And the, mo the um, manager points out to her, like, you have one of those faces where you're very beautiful, but nearly anything... So, like, nearly anything would look good on you. But you're not too beautiful so that a normal person wouldn't see an image of you and think, oh, well, that wouldn't look good on me. That only looks good on someone like her, a model, someone with this perfect body. She's average enough that it can appeal to your everyday citizen that doesn't look like a beautiful model. And so, I really enjoy that part. Um, overall, I really like this first volume. Like I said, not really a lot happens. It's just mostly them, like, getting together, getting ready, getting her 
to top of her game so that she'll be good for modeling. And I thought it was really cute. I really liked it. I do like really cute model ones. It gives me a lot of vibes similar to Smile Down the Runway, the anime that was like really cute. And I like these. They're very slice of life. And since not a lot happens, I do get distracted a lot while reading it. But it's very chill and it does help me relax. So I do highly recommend. If you've read this, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't, tell me if you would. And if you want to, I will put a link down in the description below. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will be here next time with another volume. And I hope you have a wicked evening. Alright, bye! <laughs>